Hello. <laughs> Come on in. <laughs> All right. So, what do we have here? Welcome to my full transit van conversion. Wow. Um, I have just finished this. Um, it is currently now online for sale, which is really, really exciting. But it's been a while in the making and it's finally, finally finished. So I'm really happy with it and everything. So this is going to be a little van tour video just to show you basically everything that's in this van um, and just sort of how it works and everything like that, basically. Yeah. So we'll start off over here and then we'll work our way down the van. So this is a lovely big storage. This is sort of deep storage for, you know, um, blankets and winter clothes and stuff like that. This closes all the way like that, so it's nice and neat. We've got a blackout curtain. It just goes all the way across there. So, you know, when you're sleeping, um, you've got, you know, the privacy and everything like that. Yeah. This is a lovely little shower. So I'll just, oh, <laughs> I'll just open this uh, for you. So this is a compost toilet here. Um, this shower, um, it's obviously got hot water as well. Um, and a little wow. extraction fan as well. This, you can take this off and put it there. Um, if you do, don't use this as a shower, you can use it to hang your clothes oh, up here. Yes. Like that. Um, so this is a kitchen. Um, it's a nice big um, size kitchen, lots of workspace, um, so you do all your chopping and stuff like that on here. Um, big sink as well, um, this has hot water coming from a boiler as well, um, which is under here. This is a sort of utility cupboard, um, 12 litre boiler there, um, and you can see when I turn on the, that's the hot water getting hot. So it automatically turns on um, along with the pump and everything like that. Um, these are all for food storage. This is, um, uh, you know, veg, veg and fruit. You can take this all out and take it everywhere. Um, we've got a three-way fridge here. This is a really big uh, size fridge. Um, it also has a freezer compartment up there as well. Um, so this one runs off of 12 volt, 240 volt and gas. So whether or not you're, you know, hooked into a campsite or anything like that, you can run this off of 240 volt. Or if you're on the road, you can switch between 12 volt and um, running it off gas, which is really handy to have. Um, these uh, two burner hob runs off of LPG gas as well. Um, and then we've got drawers down here. This is sort of mainly for other, other bits and bobs and clothes storage, these ones as well. Um, and then we have these drawers here. These have got these lovely, what are they called? Um, strut things um, that just stay open so you don't have to hold the door open while you're, you know, rummaging through and everything like that. Um, and then, yes, and then a, a, a 12 volt fan as well. Um, and that blows air in for ventilation and also out for. Deventilation. Out the uh, fumes of the hob or anything like that. Um, so over here we've got the sort of living section. This can fit um, six people round here and one person here. Um, so it's a lovely big sort of um, hosting space as well. These tables um, just go down um, to here and this makes a double bed as well. Um, and if you're really tall you can always sleep this way either if you prefer. <laughs> Um, so under here, this, oh, this is a little gauge to see how um, full your uh, tanks are. Under here, it's just sort of a lot of storage. Um, sort of, you can put your duvet and pillows and stuff like that in there, or your dirty laundry, or you know, extra clothes or anything like that. Or dead people. Or dead people. <laughs> under here, we've got um, two six volt, two hundred and twenty amp, amp hour batteries. Um, so um, we've got a 375 watt inverter as well. Let me just grab that off of you. Um, we've got a 12 volt fuse box. Um, the inverter and stuff is over there. And this cable here is uh, to hook up to the um, campsite, which is over there. And you can see it on the outside of the van as well. So that's under there. And under this one, 
Um, so under this one, lots of storage over here, and that's the gas tank over there as well. Um, that's all secured in. You can see at the bottom, there's some wood sort of going um, across like that. So that's all secure and everything like that. We've also got a couple reading lights here. This is sort of um, gives out a warm, a warmer light for when you're reading. Um, I've also got some USB aux port and some 240 volt there. These are the light switches for that. So we have these windows as well, which um, I made from scratch. So I'm really, really proud of these and I love the colors and everything like that. Um, so this opens, it can open like all the way, put it like that, or, you know, just a little bit. Um, and it's designed so, you know, if this breaks for whatever reason, you just need to make this frame or get someone to make this frame. So you don't have to, you know, rip this out of the wall to then change just the glass. So um, future proofing with that. And then we've got these curtains. This is an old um, belt, old leather belt that I took apart. Um, and then that just goes all the way down there to make a curtain. It's got blackout material on the other side as well. So thank you very much for watching my bank version tour. Uh, video. I, really, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, it's definitely taken a long time to get to this point and I'm really happy with it and just, yeah, glad it, it, that it's done, <laughs> basically. Um, but I've also put this van up for sale. It is on eBay at the moment. Uh, I will put a link in the description in my bio and, you know, everywhere, <laughs> just so you guys can have a look at it. There are some more photos and a uh, more in-depth list of details of the electrics and the size of the water tanks and everything like that um all the information's there and just yeah drop me a message send me an email if you're interested or anything like that um awesome thank you ding, 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 ding.